Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Madison if you are new and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to encapsulate dry flowers. This is my very first time doing this so I'm pretty excited with how they turned out and I'm so excited to be able to share this with you guys. And I think that they came out pretty well. Honestly, I think that they were super easy to do. They might look a little hard, but honestly, I think the hardest thing to do with acrylic nails is the filing and the shaping. Anything else I feel like is not as hard, but that's my personal opinion. But going in with the flowers, I do a thin layer of acrylic first. After, of course, I do all my prep work, I did that off the camera. And then I go in with my brush and dip it in the monomer. And then I like pick up whatever flower that I choose to pick up. And then I place it on whatever finger I want to use or whatever finger I'm working on. And then as I got my design going or what, however flowers, many flowers that I want on my nail, then I go ahead and I do my acrylic, clear acrylic on top to encapsulate them and make sure that they are stayed and put in place and they do not move. So once that acrylic is over it, they are locked in there, they are good to go. And the acrylic thickness is, I guess, kind of just your own preference. Just make sure that where the apex is, you put more product there because that's where it's more likely to break and that's where it can actually, um, that's where you want your strongest peak to be. And um, then at the end, I go in and I put a little bit of acrylic on the free edge and that is just to close off the edge so that way it's not as sharp. I just feel like it smooths it out a little bit and just makes it a little bit nicer and gives it a nicer finishing touch. But other than that, I am just going to go to work. You guys work on it. I am only showing you one hand because this is my dominant hand, so I'm working a little bit quicker. The other hand was a little bit harder, obviously, because I'm not a lefty. I'm more of a righty. So I'm not more of I am a righty. But um, I'm just showing you guys one hand because if not, the video would have been an hour long. And I didn't want to bore you guys unless you really enjoy those really long nail videos. Um, but I am just in my videos going to be showing you guys one hand most of the time whenever I do it unless I can get really really fast and I can do you know more work and more designs then I'll go ahead and probably go and do both hands but that's like way down the road I'm not close to that yet but for right now I'm just showing you guys this because I thought this was really cool um and a cool idea I saw a lot of encapsulating fruit and I've seen the dried flowers before I've seen them on um this one girl's page called V Nailed It and I absolutely fell in love with them. She actually is really good, like she's actual nail tech. So she's really good and I'm really inspired by her because she does amazing work. And I just love the flow of her channel. I She has a YouTube so I can link it down in the description below for you guys if you wanna check her out too, if you're interested in like nail videos. But honestly, I really am inspired by her. I love going to her videos and watching them and I think you guys will too. So I'm just going to go ahead and work on my hands and I hope you guys enjoy the music that I put on for you guys and then I will pop in the video later on. By the way, you guys, I just wanted to ask, have any of you guys since me doing my nails have inspired you to either paint your nails more or do something with your nails more, whether it be even take care, better care of them, like do a cuticle oil. Doesn't have to technically mean that you have to do acrylics, but I'm just curious, has anybody been a little more into nails since they've seen my channel and I'm doing nails more? 
I'm just a little curious so let me know in the comments below and of course like I always say if you guys do any of the remakes that I do for like Layla on your little girls or yourself it doesn't really matter because they are cute designs in my personal opinion i really love the watermelon ones i did for her but anyways if you guys redid those i would love to see them my instagram will be down in the description box as well so that way you guys can send them to me or even shoot me a dm for any ideas that you guys would like to see i'm really curious so let me know If you guys have seen my other videos as well, you would know that I take the brush and go around my cuticle. I highly recommend doing this because it can really take some of that product off of your cuticle. So that way it can very it can really prevent lifting. You really don't want lifting at all because that's when your hair will get stuck in between like your nail and your acrylic nail and that's annoying and your nail will just lift or will bend in it's just really annoying so you really want to make sure that you do your prep work really good and you really focus around your cuticle area because you really don't want that product to get on there it'll also irritate your cuticle and it'll just not feel well so always make sure that you focus your cuticle area when you are filing or e-filing you do not have to have an e-file when you are doing acrylic nails it is handy it is helpful it kind of gets the job done quicker but you can do a hand file. I highly recommend getting a couple hand files if you're gonna do that because sometimes the hand files just get a little dull so then it makes the process a little bit longer. And another thing that you can do is on the side and edges of your new file that you get, take your other new file and rub the um, side of it against the other file because you are gonna cut your cuticle and you're gonna cut your finger if you do not do that because they are very very sharp on the edges so just make sure that you're very careful with those 
it also depends on what kind of grit you get because there's different numbers so just kind of do your research before you buy anything um i kind of just grab whatever file at the store because i really don't care how coarse it is now if it's the e-file i get the less or the least coarsed one um just because i'm a beginner and the e-file is brand new to me this is the first time around me doing my nails again that i've ever used an e-file so i really just want to be careful and like take my time i even ordered different um sanding bands for it because the ones that came with my e-file were just extremely like sharp and it tore my cuticles up completely but anyways just make sure you do your research guys i will link my stuff that i use down below um not everything because some things are from walmart and they're like a little package deal of like the nail clippers and the cuticle pusher and stuff like that so those you can just kind of get like from walmart in a package they're over by the nail stuff and the other stuff is just from like a beauty supply store or even amazon so i will link some of the stuff that i am using in this video down below and then other things that i think you guys might be interested in so go ahead and check that out and also don't forget to follow me on instagram if you are not already i will leave my link down below as well so yeah let's go ahead and get into this video Also, you guys, I just want to remind you that if you're using an e-file, please, please be careful, especially if it is your first time. The first time I used it, I cut myself up, but I think it was just because the sanding band that I got was just really sharp, really coarse, um, however you want to define it. But just make sure you are being extremely careful or even order separate ones before you use it. Like order the e-file, but then order separate ones. So that way you have one, you have extra and two, you, you know that it's not going to be too sharp for you being a beginner because they do come in different numbers. And honestly, I didn't know that. So I had to do my research um, just recently because I didn't know that there was different size sanding bands or different number sanding bands for how sharp or how coarse you want it so um 
I've definitely, definitely, excuse me, I've definitely um, seen improvement and seen the difference in getting the new ones and not using the ones that came with my e-file to begin with. So just a reminder that you be careful with that because it can damage your nail, you can damage your cuticle, cut yourself, and you'll have sore cuticles for, God, it was probably like four or five days like me, so, or even longer than that, it was pretty bad. So just be extremely careful when you do that. But so far, do you guys like how the nails are coming out? I'm really curious. I know you probably can't really see it because I haven't put the clear coat on it yet. But once I put the clear coat on it yet, it's actually really satisfying. And honestly, like sometimes I do watch my videos, I'm not going to lie, for motivation. But this, when I went back and was like editing it and trying to get it perfect, you know, just the satisfaction of me putting the clear coat on top and seeing the flowers pop was just so satisfying and so pretty. So I can't wait for you guys to get that to that point in the video. If you have gotten to this point in the video, go ahead and drop a little flower down below. It can be the rose, it could be the little pink or the little um, sunflower, whichever. Drop me a little flower down below just so I know that you're still here with me. And go ahead and enjoy the rest of the video. I can't wait for you guys to see the end result.
and now I'm going in with my Need for Speed Morgan Taylor top coat. This stuff is pretty much a time saver because it actually is a Need for Speed. It actually dries pretty quickly. The only thing is if you do like one coat sometimes, it's like very thin and it just it looks weird. So sometimes you have to do like two or three coats. So that's why you see me going over a few nails a couple times because I just want it to look more shiny than it was when I was doing like one or two coats. So sometimes I even did three coats. But honestly, look how the flowers pop when you put the clear coat on it. It's so pretty. I was so excited with how these came out because I was dying to do these. And yeah, here, um, Andrea was not napping when this was happening, but Daddy was home. <laughs> and um, I was trying to do my nails, but I think he walked away to either take the dog out or I don't know, he did something. And so she kept coming over to me and like trying to grab the nail polish bottle and grab my hands and grab my fingers and stuff so it was really funny but it was really cute too I was laughing but I was trying to get my nails done and she was <laughs> kept grabbing everything but it was it was really cute so um I don't know she might pop in here again I'm not too sure if I have another clip of her but yep there she is but um let me know what you guys think of the nails and I'm going to show you guys. Obviously here is the before I do the top coat and then the after but I thought the after was so pretty. I just wanted to share it with you guys to see the difference and I can't wait for you guys to see both of them at the end. They are so cute. And now I'm going in with my Kiss Bliss cuticle oil. This one is in the scent Vanilla and it smells so good. I highly recommend this. And I go around it with my cuticle. It's just a little pen. I honestly love this method. I don't like the drop method where you have to rub it in personally. I mean, I do rub it in here, but I just feel like you lose so much product doing that that it gets like all over your fingers and like the whole point is for your cuticles. So I don't really see a point besides just using like a little pin to go around the actual crevices and corners that you need. So honestly, I really love this stuff. It's been a time saver and a lifesaver. So you'll see me rub it in, but I'm not using too much product. I'm able to just rub in how much product and that way I can roll out how much I actually need or spin out how much I need because this product actually spins and um, it's very thin and, and small. So I really like the, it doesn't take up space. So I'm really happy with it. When I ordered it or when I saw it, I was like, ooh, they have different scents. They have vanilla and they have our no scent vanilla and then they have another one, but I can't remember exactly what it is. And um, But you guys should check them out. I really like them. I think you guys will too if you do your nails or even if you don't do your nails and you just wanna do like a little cuticle treatment, I really think that these would be good for anybody.